This is the St James's Institute of Oncology based at Jimmy's Hospital in Leeds. This building houses a number of departments involved in treating cancer. This video will be focusing on the radiotherapy department. Patients who come to the department may park in the multi-storey car park just behind us and enter the hospital via the main entrance on the ground floor. Just inside the entrance are the pharmacy and the transport department. Access to the radiotherapy department is via the green or red lifts to the basement floor. There's an entrance directly into the department from Beckett Street at this level. This is the main radiotherapy reception with a number of clinic rooms, scanner and 10 radiotherapy treatment machines. Unfortunately, one in three people in the UK will develop cancer in their lifetime. About half of the patients may benefit from having radiotherapy as part of their cancer treatment. Many cancers are curable, but even in those situations where it is not curable, we may still be able to offer radiotherapy to relieve a troublesome symptom. That is so-called palliative radiotherapy. Radiotherapy may be used before or after surgery. It may be used on its own. It may be used in conjunction or along with other drugs such as hormones or chemotherapy. Radiotherapy or X-ray treatment destroys cancer cells within the radiation beam. Unfortunately, it also damages some normal cells within the radiation beam as well. Radiation is completely painless to have. Because there are some side effects associated with the radiation, we're very careful about making sure that we give just sufficient radiotherapy to damage the cancer cells and to allow the normal cells to repair themselves. Cancer cells don't have as good repair mechanisms. Therefore, it may be that you would come to the hospital and be offered a different type of radiation treatment for some patients, we need to give radiation treatments over a prolonged period of time with many visits or what we would call fractions. Therefore, it might be that you're invited to come along to the department for 35 visits, Monday to Friday, over seven weeks. But some other patients might be invited to come for 15 treatments, Monday to Friday, over three weeks. In circumstances where we are offering radiotherapy as a palliative treatment, it may be just as effective and more convenient for the radiotherapy to be given in a single treatment. Good. Hello, can I help you? Yeah, my name is Matt Smith. Matt Smith, please. Hello there, Matt. Hi. Pleased to meet you. My name's Chris. May I take you through to see Dr. Roberts? If you'd like to come through and take a seat. Oh, Mr. Smith, come in. Take a seat. Please make yourself comfortable. Your specialist doctor, called a clinical oncologist, will discuss with you about the details of your particular radiotherapy. They will also discuss with you about the short and long-term side effects of your radiotherapy and ask for your written consent. You may get your appointments by post or you may be phoned by some of the staff in our booking office. The waiting area is for patients waiting to see the doctor or nurses in clinic, for patients waiting for our mould room or our CT scanners. The visits can last up to two hours so do make sure that you bring everything you need to make your weight comfortable. Any medication, drinks, snacks, something to read perhaps. In order to plan your treatment accurately, you will need to have a planning CT scan in our department. You may already have had a diagnostic scan, but this planning scan is a technical scan for the doctors to mark the areas we want to treat. You'll be placed in a comfortable position and this will be the same position as your treatment. The radiographers will discuss this with you beforehand and they will use laser markers, pens and small permanent ink marks like tattoo to ensure that you're in the best position and that position can be safely replicated each day on the treatment machine. 
The doctors use your diagnostic scans and this planning scan to mark where we want to give the radiation treatment and if there are specific areas which we need to shield from the radiotherapy. This may be relatively easy or in the case of advanced radiotherapy techniques take several hours. Advanced techniques include intensity modulated radiotherapy or IMRT. This can only be used for some cancer sites but allows us to give more dose to the tumour and reduce the dose to normal tissue with the hope of higher cure rates and less side effects. My name is John Lilly. I work in uh, the medical physics department and I'm a clinical scientist. Uh, we're looking at, looking at a head and neck treatment here and uh, the images have been sent to the physics planning department and we use this cutting edge uh, technology to shape the x-ray beams. In this example we've actually got beams coming in from five different directions and this allows us to get high doses where we need it in this region here and lower doses or virtually no dose in other regions of the patient. Uh, the salivary gland here gets a very low dose and that's very important because that ensures that the uh, a side effect of dry mouth doesn't won't occur in this patient. When you come for treatment you will be in a waiting room with patients from a number of machines. On your first visit to the machine one of the radiographers treating you will call you through and have a chat with you and take a photograph. They will check your details every single day. When you lie on the couch the radiographers will be checking measurements with each other and measuring the laser beams. We will explain exactly what is happening. Once we are happy that you're in the correct position, we will leave you in the room and go next door to the control room. Although you're on your own in the room, they can see you through a video link and they can talk to you through an intercom. The treatment lasts only for a few minutes. It is painless and you won't feel or see anything. You may hear a slight humming noise as the machine is switched on. You just need to lie still and relax. The machine will move around you to the correct position for each part of the treatment. During the treatment, the radiographers may need to take an image to ensure that we're giving treatment to exactly the correct area and may need to make very slight corrections. This system of checks is called image guided radiotherapy. Once the treatment has finished the radiographers will come to help you from the bed you can then get changed and you are free to go. At St James's Institute we offer a range of radiotherapy treatments. We've mentioned IMRT as an advanced technique. We also are a major centre for brachytherapy, four-dimensional radiotherapy, stereotactic body radiotherapy and stereotactic radio surgery. I'm Kevin Franks, one of the lung cancer specialists at St James's, and this is Stuart Wilson, one of our planners. We are now able to offer uh, a treatment that involves somewhere between seven and nine highly focused beams of radiation, which give us an intense dose around the tumour, while managing to keep the dose to the critical organs, such as lung, as low as possible. So in the past two years we've treated over 100 patients with this technique with very promising results. I'm Paul Hatfield, one of the oncology consultants here at St James's. Uh, Gamma Knife Perfection is a state-of-the-art piece of equipment for treating brain tumours. For many patients it can even be an alternative to conventional surgery. It's designed to deliver a single targeted dose of radiotherapy. Uh, the advantage for the patient is that it's all done in a single visit and the side effects are usually minimal. Having a diagnosis of cancer is life-changing and radiotherapy very frightening. The radiotherapy department at the St James's Institute of Oncology has a team of dedicated professionals who are keen to ensure that they deliver the best possible care to all our patients. We hope that this video has given you a good understanding of the processes involved and you've been able to see the excellent facilities that we have available here in Leeds.